Hey everybody, this is Daniel from fittersplendor.com and today I'm going to be taking you through an upper body focused kettlebell routine. Now we're going to be doing 8 different exercises and we're going to be doing 10 repetitions per exercise. So you're going to want to use a relatively heavy weight on this one, especially if you're wanting to try to build a little bit of strength. But again, if you haven't done any of these exercises, you might want to start on something a little bit lighter just so you can get used to the motion first before you start really taxing yourself. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now we haven't included a warm-up for this routine, so if you haven't done your warm-up yet, definitely go and get your warm-up done. These are all kettlebell exercises that are all relatively dynamic in motion as far as you're using your entire body, which can open you up to injury if you're not properly warmed up. So definitely go and warm up if you haven't already. Go and hit pause and take care of that. Otherwise, if you are already warmed up, let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise, which is going to be a kettlebell swing. Now we're going to be doing this one arm at a time, so adjust the weight accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and grab my weight. So I'm going to be using 30 pounds for mine, which 30 pounds is 13 and a half kilograms. So like I said, one arm at a time, we're doing 10 repetitions and we're going to switch over to the other side, then back again, so two rounds on each side. So go ahead and start it up, nice and slow swing, and right up to that shoulder. Keep that back perfectly flat, hinging from those hips, get a nice snap to get that kettlebell up. And let it relax. Same thing on the other side. Go right into it. Keep those shoulders parallel to the ground. You don't want to rock your shoulders with the weight. You don't want to let the weight roll your shoulders. And 10. Let's go ahead and switch right back in again. Going through these pretty quick, no rest in between. And last one of those. Right, get back into the last round on the other side. Again, catch that or watch that back. Make sure it's perfectly flat, hinging at those hips. Get a nice quick snap with those hips, pressing them forward, getting that kettlebell up. Almost done. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and drop that kettlebell down. I'm gonna adjust the jog in place a little bit, kind of active recovery. Get ready for that next exercise. This isn't timed, it's just kind of off the cuff. So our next exercise is going to be a kettlebell single arm press. So this one is gonna be just straight up over top of your shoulder. All right, so let's go ahead and grab it. I'm going to drop the weight just a little bit. So we're doing a little bit of a hop with this. So you're going to be pressing that weight straight up over top of your shoulder. So just a little tiny bit of a hop, then press it up nice and slow down. And again, nice and slow down. Keep that back perfectly flat. Just a tiny bit of a hop. If you're using a lot of weight, you might need to use a little bit more of a hop, but make sure you can let that elbow down or that, that kettlebell down really nice and slow. One more. And let it relax, drop it down. Same thing on the other side, and start it. And let that relax back over again, second round through. Start it up. Remember that nice slow drop.
Nice flat back, almost done. And that's the last one on that arm. So you gotta do the same thing on the other side. One last rep or one last set. Bring it up and start. Last one, and let it relax. All right, go ahead and drop that kettlebell. Again, jog in place, nice active rest. So we want to do the uh, kind of an opposite motion from that press. So instead of pushing up, we want to pull down. Since we can't really pull down without uh, inverting ourselves, we're gonna do a little bit different motion, pulling down in front. We're we'll laying on our backs for that one. And we're engaging those core muscles and those legs at the same time by doing sort of a crunch motion. So this one, again, you're using one arm at a time. Go ahead and grab your weight. You don't need anything really heavy. I'm actually gonna do mine really nice and light. So I'm using 16 pounds, seven kilograms. Flat on your back, one arm at a time. Legs out. The other hand's gonna be right next to that weight, just not holding on to it. So those legs come up, arms come up, and back down. There's no crunch at the top. You're just doing that leg lift motion with those arms. Make sure you're not holding on to that kettlebell with that opposite hand. Keep those lungs open, core muscles engaged. Switch it over to the other hand and start right back into it. Engage those core muscles, lift those arms and legs. Last one, let it relax. Go and switch back over again. Those abs are probably starting to get nice and tired on you, but no rest for the weary. Grab that kettlebell and start in again. Contract those abs, make sure that core is nice and tight. done. And let it relax. Whew. Last one. Push through as best you can. I know those abs are tired. Keep them engaged as tight as you can. Flat back and start up. Over halfway. Keep those lungs open. And let it relax. Whew. Got a nice burn on those abs from that one. All right, so go ahead and stand up. Jog in place, active recovery. Let those muscles recover a little bit before we move on to the next. All right, so we're gonna move on to another one laying on the ground. This one is going to be more of a chest press. So it's gonna be a single arm chest press. You have a little bit of a limited range of motion because we're laying flat on the ground, and that's perfectly fine. So whatever you normally do for a chest press, single arm with a dumbbell, you can try that if you want to, but I would suggest starting a little bit lighter. So let's go and grab our weight. All 
All right, so I'm just gonna use 30 pounds per hand, uh, which is 13 and a half kilograms. So laying flat on the ground. You grab that kettlebell, rest it on that forearm, start straight above your shoulder, straight above that chest. Keep everything else nice and contracted. And you drop it down, bring it in nice and close to your body, and press back up. So instead of a wide press, we're doing a nice close press. Again, keep those lungs open. Controlled motion in both directions. One more. And let it relax. Go and switch hands. Right back into it again on the opposite hand. And start up, elbow close to that rib cage, and press it up. Kind of kick that dumbbell or that kettlebell off to the side just a little bit. Get a little closer to the ground every time you drop down. Otherwise, that weight's gonna just gonna hit your bicep. Again, lungs open, keep those core muscles nice and tight. Almost done. One more. And let it relax. I'm going to switch back. Right back into that next round. And start them up. Check the muscles to the rest of your body. Make sure they're contracted nice and tight. Burn a few extra calories as well as increasing overall tone. Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. Almost done. Last one. And let it relax, one more on the other side. Go and switch over and start as soon as you're ready. Two more. And last one. Go ahead and set that dumbbell or that kettlebell back. Stand up. Jog in place. Let everything kind of flush out again. All right, so that was our chest press. So now we're gonna be doing a one arm row. So the same, the same motion, just in the opposite direction. So instead of pushing forward, we're pulling back again, one arm at a time. So again, grab your weight for this one. This is going to be freestanding. Probably not gonna need anywhere near as much weight as you did for the, the press. So one arm is going to be out on your knee. You're gonna be down in kind of a lunge motion. So down just like this, bracing yourself on that knee the other hand is going to row up nice and close. Similar motion to what we did for that press. So 10 repetitions on each side. Keep those shoulders parallel to the ground. Don't open them up. And switch sides, prop that knee up on the other side, and start. Lungs open, nice flat back. Almost done. 
And there's your last one of those to so switch back again, second round. And start up. Two more. And there's your last one right there. Gonna switch back again one more time on that opposite side. And start it. Nice close row. Squeeze that elbow up as high as you can. Keep that back flat. Keep those shoulders parallel to the ground. Two more, and let it relax. All right, drop that kettlebell back down. Jog in place one more time. All right, our next exercise is going to be more of a tricep extension. So what we're gonna be doing is an overhead motion for your shoulder as well as your tricep. So use something really light because that shoulder's not gonna be able to take much more than that for this position. Your triceps can be okay with a little bit lighter muscle or weight too. So it's gonna be over top of your head, doing a tricep extension, and then straight down in front of your body and back up. Just gonna grab the weight you want for that. I'm gonna try my first round with 16 pounds. We'll see how that works. Seven kilos. So hands straight up in front. You start with a tricep extension, so your hands can come down back behind you. Keep that upper arm straight up and down. And then drop straight in front and right back up. That's number two. Bend that elbow only. Lock that arm out, drop, and back up. You can already tell I'm gonna to wanna to drop for that second set. Keep that motion going under control as slow as you can, as much range of motion as possible. I'm starting to get tired. I'm not even close to being done yet, that's no good. Two more. And last one. Back up. And let it relax. Okay, same thing on the other side. Since you did that amount of weight on the left, you've got to do the same amount of weight on the right, no matter how hard it was. So go ahead and get that arm up there. Drop that elbow, or drop that hand, bend that elbow, and then straight in front, kind of balancing that kettlebell on that forearm. Now you might feel yourself lean back as you drop that kettlebell in front of your body. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you don't bend at your lower back. That back should stay perfectly straight, so you should be hinging either at your hip or at your ankle. So preferably the ankle, just get an entire hinge through your entire body. Just counterbalances that weight a little bit. Just don't, whatever you do, don't bend that lower back. Almost done. So we're eight right there. We got two more to go. Last one. On that forearm down, right back up again. And let it relax. I'm gonna go ahead and drop weight.
Make it a little bit easier for myself. All right, let's go and start again. Straight up over top of your head. Starting back over. And bend it. Back up. And drop it down. Keep those lungs open. Again, keep that back nice and flat. Nice and straight up and down. Try not to tilt left to right or front to back. Just keep going. Keep that form as clean as you can. I know that, that arm, that shoulder especially, is probably just crying. Keep it going. Just two more. Keep that form nice and clean. Last one. Back up. Ooh, and let it relax. All right, last one on the other side. Straight up over top of your shoulder and start into it. Bend that elbow, press it back up, and drop straight down towards the ground, arm completely extended straight. Back up, bend that elbow again. Again, keep those lungs open. Just breathing normally, nice, slow, controlled motion. Keep all those muscles to your core nice and tight. Whoop. Pushing the weight out there a little bit. Almost done. One more. Down nice and slow, and back up, and let it relax. All right, drop that kettlebell off again. Start moving those feet, get that jog in place going, that boxer shuffle. Okay, so we got through with our tricep, which means we need to do our bicep next. So this is going to be a figure eight curl. So we're actually gonna be bending down, swinging the weight underneath your body, and then curling it up, okay? So again, you don't necessarily need to use the same amount of weight you'd use for a regular really heavy curl, but because you're using a little bit of momentum with it, you might find it a little bit easier. So go and pick the amount of weight you want to use for that one. I'm going to be using uh, about 25 pounds, about 11 and a half kilos. So with this one, you're going to swing it underneath your legs, switch over the other hand, and then bring it around, curl it up, pause, and then right back down between your legs. So let's go ahead and get it going. Between those legs, up and curl. Between those legs, up and curl. So we're counting on each side. We're doing double repetitions. Six. Eight. Halfway. Almost done. And let it relax for just a second. We'll do that same exact thing over again. Turn angles here so you can see me a little better. And go ahead and start up. Swing that kettlebell between those legs. Around and curl. The other side. Around and curl. Two. Try to get that back flat. Over halfway.
And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Start jogging in place one more time. We have one more exercise to go. This one is going to be a clean and press. So starting from the kettlebell all the way down, you can jerk it up to that shoulder, that rack position, then press it all the way up over top of your shoulder. We're gonna do the same thing, one side on the left, one side on the right, and one more time on each side. All right, so really push yourself through this one. Tire those arms out like crazy. Get those legs into it a little bit. So you can use just a little bit more weight on this one. So you can select your weight for it. I'm using 35 pounds for mine. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna be really, really rough. But 35 pounds is roughly about 16 kilos. So wherever you need to be for that one. So starting down, full extension on that arm. Nice squat, quick hop, bring it up to that shoulder. Another quick hop, getting it all the way over top. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. One, two, keep those lungs open, flat back. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Nice and slow down. Do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and grab it. And start them up. One. Two, again, keep those lungs open. Nice flat back. Go as smooth as you can. Halfway. Two more. Last one. And drop it down, give yourself a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do that same thing over again on both sides. I'm a glutton for punishment, so I'm gonna try to stay at the same weight. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for me, but I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, let's go and finish this up. Grab that kettlebell, It's 10 repetitions on each side, and then we're done. Start them up. And press it. Concentrate, keep everything nice and clean. Again, flat back. It's halfway. One more. And let it relax. Same thing on the other side. This is our last round. Let's get right to it. And start them up. One. Two. Flat back. Use those legs as much as you can to build that momentum. Halfway.
Almost done. That's eight, two more. Nine, one more. And let it relax down. Whew. That is it. You've completed all your repetitions, all your exercises, which means this workout is complete. Good job. I hope you're as sweaty and tired as I am. I'll see you next time.